Okay, guys, so I just got back from seeing TMNT Mutant Mayhem, a movie that I was looking forward to because I'm a massive Ninja Turtle fan. And uh, I just got back from the theaters. I've been processing the movie. I, I got out like maybe 20 minutes ago. And um, this movie, uh, it kind of sucked. It kind of sucked. It, kinda, it, it, it actually kind of sucked pretty bad. And the longer the movie was going on, the more, uh, I guess, disappointed slash upset I got with the movie itself i felt like it started off very very strong but for me it, it was clear that they tried to be spider-man into the spider-verse and they just failed on what the aspect of what the teenage mutant ninja turtles are supposed to be there's a lot of things that happen in this movie that i did not enjoy whatsoever uh, if you want to get into some of the positives, I, I do think the animation looked really good at times. I think the chemistry between the four turtles all worked. The personalities of the four turtles all worked. I think when it comes to the aspect of the turtles themselves, I think that works very, very well. Unfortunately, I think everything around the, the whole story and plot of the movie is just awful. So awful, in fact... That I would go on record, you know, it's been a while since I watched the 2014 Ghost or Ghostbuster, the 2014 Ninja Turtles. It's been a while since I watched that Michael Bay produced TMNT movie and the sequel. It's been a long, long time. But I can at least look at that movie as god awful as that movie is. That movie is horrendous. I can actually look at that movie and say, you know what? It gave us that badass fight between Shredder and Splinter. You know, yes, yeah, Shredder looks like, you know, Silver Samurai, Megatron, like, like all the type of things you want to say, but that fight was actually pretty decent. We did not get a fight like that within the movie. Once again, I don't know what it is about the, the TMNT origin that these creators, and I have a lot, I had a lot of hope going into this movie because of Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen, who I don't necessarily like him as an actor, I think he's a really good writer and producer. You know, he produced some great stuff like preacher and invincible and i really thought he was going to be the one to crack the formula of the ninja turtles and bring them into a more modern era and still stay somewhat true now i was really really looking forward to this movie when i first seen the trailer i was like okay this looks real really good and then the trailers that preceded it started getting me more and more concerned where it felt like this movie was just going to be very very full and cluttered and I was hoping when I went to go see the movie that that fear would just go away, but it didn't. The movie was very, very cluttered. You had so many different characters, big name characters that got nothing to do bebop and rocksteady completely wasted leatherhead completely wasted they throw in all types of different easter eggs and, and and little nods from back to the television show and even the comic books but these characters were completely wasted baxter stockman was completely wasted i was actually okay with okay here's baxter stockman you know he helped create these things and and you know the fly is not baxter stockman which we all thought was going to happen because of the original cartoon that didn't happen. I'm fine with all that. But the characters that they did have, like like I said, Leatherhead is a big character. You know, Bebop, Rocksteady are big characters. And there's a lot of other, I don't, I don't want to sit here and spoil everything, but there's a lot of other characters in here that are bad guys that they completely just dropped the ball. When, when TMNT... Uh, out of the shadow or whatever the hell that sequel is to the Michael Bay turtle when they do a better interpretation of Bebop and Rocksteady we have problems people we have legit problems when that movie handled Bebop and Rocksteady better than what this movie can handle and it really upsets me and again I want to go back to the origin story what is it about the original TMNT origin story that is so hard for them to adapt that they feel like they have to change what is so hard about you know a rat that was a pet of a martial artist who was part of like the gang, like the, the TMNT comic in the show is completely different. The origin is somewhat similar, but if you go back and watch the original TMNT movie from 1990, that is pretty much the origin story from the comic books in the cartoon. You know, um, uh, Oroko Saki was Shredder and Amato Yoshi was Splinter. In the comic book, Amato Yoshi was Splinter's master, but Splinter had the knowledge of martial arts and ninjutsu and all that stuff when he before before he even mutated. But for some reason, in the Michael Bay movies and in this movie, 
they're just regular pets and animals. You know, like Splinter is just a rat on the street. He gets mutated by trying to save these turtles that was created by the ooze from Baxter Stockman. And, you know, he's like, hey, we got to defend ourselves. So he starts watching ninja movies, and that's how he learns karate. Just like in the Mike Michael Bay movie, they found a karate book that was not in English. They did not know how to read, and they, they learned karate from that. So to me, that ruins and cuts the, the origins at its knees because it's no longer a story about they're, they're not Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You know, Splinter is not a master. He's just some some rat that, that saved these turtles. They're mutated monsters, and they learn karate, and, and they're, they're posers at the end of the day. They're absolute posers. The fighting scenes in this movie was was messy and it was all kinds of like crazy and it was like you never had no cool moments they tried to do this thing with splinter when splinter confronted superfly and he comes in and it's a joke he trips he falls off the ceiling and he's fighting super like not not, not superfly but he's fighting uh uh, th these military men are trying to get the the ooze from the turtles, and he, yeah, he's whooping all their ass, but it looks silly, it looks ridiculous, and it doesn't it doesn't come. Up, you don't look at Splinter and go, "This dude is a badass." Even in the 1990s Turtles movie, you know, say what you want, Splinter only did one move, right? He only did like the the nunchuck and threw Shredder off the building, but the dude was like so calm, he was like a Jedi. You know, Shredder or Rokosaki comes at this guy. He's like, I'm going to finish what I did to your ear. I'm going to finish the rest of your ear. And he comes at Splinter full force with the spear. And Splinter just sits there like cool as hell and just flicks him and throws him off. Like, like, you can tell this dude is a badass master. And he didn't do anything but one move. Meanwhile, you have this movie. And he's doing all this stuff. But they're making it a joke. It's ridiculous. He He... He's, um, like, it's ridiculous. They're making it a joke. He's falling around. He's doing stuff by accident. You know, it, it, it just comes off really horrible. And this is supposed to be the master, right? So if, if Splinter is doing this and he's coming off as a joke and it's all comedic and all that stuff, then the turtles fighting style is the same way. You know, it, this is Teenage Mutant Ninja. Put emphasis on the ninja, where I feel like they took more emphasis on the mutant aspect rather than the aspect of the ninja in the title of TMNT. And that was one of my biggest problems. There was no big fight scene. No, no part did this feel like martial arts or ninjutsu. There was fighting, yes, but then at the end we have this giant mutated monster that makes you feel like you're watching Suicide Squad with the giant squid or Ghostbusters with with Stay Puft Marshmallow Man or any other type of movie where they have this giant, you know, basically the, the giant um kaiju in the city. And, and that's what it felt like. It didn't feel like a Ninja Turtle movie. And that, that, that really disappointed me. And it was just really weird how so many characters that you, you put in a Bebop, you put in a Rocksteady, and you, you completely waste these characters and their screen time that you could get more development on. Like, And, and then at the end, spoiler alert, at the end there's a post credit scene, midway through mid credit scene, you know, they, they hint that Shredder's in the second one, like, we gotta call Shredder in to take him out. You know, like, who has interest in Shredder? Shredder is not a secondary character. Shredder is a very important character to the Oroko Sati Emoti uh, uh, Mato Yoshi storyline of the Ninja Turtles. That is a very important story. The whole point of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was to get revenge on uh, against Oroko Saki for what they did to Omato Yoshi. And it, it just completely completely just baffles my mind. It felt like this movie tried so hard to be Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse and into the Spider-Verse where it, it completely loses what the, the heart and soul of the Ninja Turtles was. I thought this movie was going to be so much more because in the first 10 minutes, you see this part where the turtles want to interact with the outside world. And Michael, there's a scene where Michelangelo is just staring out into the city and he looks sad and you feel that. And I was like, oh, this is going to be a very deep movie with layers. And it could, that's, that's it. That, that's all. That's it. The, the whole movie is about these kids that just want to be like go to high school. And they go to high school at the end. They go to the prom, right? Bebop, Rocksteady, Leatherhead, all these characters team up with the good guys and they're just chilling out in the sewer. And I'm like, what the hell am I watching here? You know, so it, to me, it just 
it completely takes away from the lore of the Ninja Turtles. Um, and n not that I like the Michael Bay movies because I can't stand them. You, me and Adam, we have our review up on the channel. We go on for like an hour about how bad that Michael Bay film is. So bad that we were put on TV. They clipped our review and put me and Adam on the sci-fi channel in Kevin Smith's show. Or not Kevin Smith show the the uh what, what's his name I you know um the kid from Turtle or uh, Star Trek he had a show on Sci Fi and they clipped our review and put it up there but they they completely they completely butchered that movie but that movie the 2014 Ninja Turtle movie is is the Whedon Experiment that was the name of the show that 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 clipped our review the Whedon Experiment the dude from Star Trek okay took me a while for me to register but the Will Whedon Project um that show clipped our TMNT review because we just went off on that movie for like an hour that movie is more faithful I hate to say it to the Ninja Turtle lore than it is this movie and that movie was god awful you know say what you want like like it, it was god awful you know the turtles are april o'neill's pets and all this stuff and they learn kung fu from the book and foot soldiers are foot soldiers because they step over people you know it's awful it's not it's not good at all you know i think the first tmnt movie is still the king the 1990 movie still the king secret of ooze it follows by that and then that fourth film that cgi film that's actually a sequel to the tmnt3 it's, it's those four movies, those four original movies, you know, and, and like I said, the 2014 movie wasn't great, but at least this scene was pretty badass, you know, it makes Splinter look like a badass, that's more than what I can sit there and say about something like, like this movie, no, nothing about this movie made me go, oh, that was cool, that was awesome, it, it was a complete, just massive letdown, I left the theater very upset, very kind of angry to be honest with you and it just kind of kind of bothered me it just kind of bothered me like how many times did we got to redo this and keep and, and do this thing right do this thing right i understand you're trying to bring this to a younger audience maybe you don't want to dive into the roko sati uh roko saki and um amato yoshi storyline that's fun but to, to keep shredder's sideline and to introduce this character superfly and oh yeah by the way i, I understand you're going for a younger audience but why does everything have to be, yo, dog, what's up? Yo, 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 homie, yo, I'm super fly, son. What's up, cuh? Yeah, you're my cousins, yo. What's up, dog? People don't talk like that. You know who talk like that? Ratchet idiots that have no education that are ignorant people, okay? No one goes on the street and goes like, yo, 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 homie, yo, yo. Like, I can understand that if it was like one character. There's like six or seven characters in this movie that's like, yo, 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 homie, yo, what's up, dog? Yo, yo, Facebook, ha, ha, blah, blah. Like, what's going on? What's going on? You know, Michael Bay did that in Transformers, and he got ridiculed by people. Going, like, like, look at him, like, racially profiling people and stereotyping people. And, like, there's, like, three or four characters in this movie that's just like, yo, yo, what's up, little tortoises? Ha, ha, ha. Yo, yo, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, just shut up. Somebody just kill this dude so he can just shut up. It, it is bad. It does not come off educated. It does not, like, like. It, it, it's it's trying to appeal to a demographic that does not care about this movie. Meanwhile, little kids, I think, will find this enjoyable, right? I, I think there are going to people that have no hardcore knowledge of TMNT that goes to the movie. They don't really care. They're like, hey, we're on the movie. You know, hey, we're going to go on our phone during the movie, all this stuff. People like that might find enjoyment of those movies. But anyone that I think has any common sense any type of IQ that can actually sit there and, and actually comprehend things that are coming on the screen will look at this movie and find out that it's very, very shallow, it's very stereotypical, and overall, it's not a good movie. I'm going to give this movie a C-, minus, and it's lucky to get a C- minus because I was really close to going D-, minus, but I do think the, at least, at least, the, 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 um, the turtles themselves, you know, at least I, I enjoyed them. I enjoyed the core turtles. I just didn't like anything else about the movie. But that's just my thoughts on it, guys. I want to know what you guys think. Have you seen the movie? Be sure to leave your comments and comment box below. Smash that like and subscribe button. Until next time, as always, I'm Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.